Hey dude, so a short YouTube update here. Um, so I've been ill again. All those colds I was complaining about eventually turned into tonsillitis, which as a voice actor is a really bad thing for your economy and your life in general. So I've been suffering through that. And as a consequence, I haven't uploaded all the stuff I've wanted to. I'm also becoming way too much of a perfectionist and I've trashed the last four videos I've created and just deleted them because they weren't any good. Anyways, though, I had to do an update today because it turns out that Pantheon fans have won and Pantheon has retracted their 24-7, uh, 274, whatever it is, game mode and have committed back to being a uh, MMORPG, although there's so much passive aggression loaded into their uh, update post that I would love to get into it here. But actually, actually, let's no, nah, let's get into it here. Let's get into it here. That's the one thing I learned from that Pantheon video. You guys love having me read to you, which given that's my job, I mean, it makes sense. So children, settle down, drink a nice cup of tea, and we'll begin. Pantheon will drop its 247 test mode and return to full PvE MMORPG. We are making the conversion immediately, and it will be available in the coming days again around the clock. To pledges with pre-alpha access who paid over a thousand dollars. Sorry, wait, that's a misread. Alpha pledges will be invited to play 24-hour sessions in December and continuing into the next year. Scheduled to be announced. In addition, effective 1st of December 2023, we are lifting the verbal NDA and all pre-alpha testers will be free to talk about the game and their experiences. The visual NDA will remain in place, which means all screenshots and or video must be approved by us so that we can continue forming an online cult in order to extract more sorry, money from our followers. We knew there would be some uneasiness when we introduced a survival extraction testing mode, but we hoped that it would be an enjoyable, replayable experience that would provide critical data for development and potentially some funding to accelerate the delivery of a full MMO. Because when you can't do one thing properly, doing other things expedites that thing being done. Like when I used to play Half-Life 2 during writing my high school essays. The Pantheon community made it clear that 247 test mode is not the reason that they support us because we may have tried to lie and double bait and switch the game. We know there will be a lot of questions. So this Thursday, November 16th at 5 p.m., we will be live on Twitch trying to monetize this as well. We understand that for many of you, we have damaged your trust. That's on us. We're sorry. Oh, sorry. They didn't actually say that. They didn't say they're sorry. For those of you... <laughs> For those who will give us the opportunity to rebuild that trust, we thank you. For those who are not ready to believe in our project again, we understand. And we hope we can bring back your support in the future. So I made this video because I've gotten a few random uh, comments saying that uh, Visionary Realms are going to sue me for my last Pantheon video. First of all, I did a whole video uh, on why Visionary Realms are doing their best to legally comply with the situation that they've found themselves in. Uh, unlike a lot of YouTubers, I've actually said they've done nothing legally wrong. I've done multiple videos trying to explain to people. Well, I've done two. Two is multiple. It's a multiple of one. And uh, it's it shows you how psychotic uh, some of the Pantheon cult fans are that they're like, um, using bot accounts and spamming me with like docs threats and stuff. I just is it normal for this small of a YouTuber to get this much harassment? I don't know. Like, I feel like I get a lot of views on my video for a guy with only 650 subs, but I also feel like I get a lot of, like, threats and stuff. Is that normal? If you're a bigger YouTuber than me, let me know. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's just normal. Maybe I just hit a nerve with people. Maybe my personality is just that way. Anyways, so Pantheon has backtracked on their 247 game mode, which is an improvement, I guess, on things. And I do hope that maybe they release a, a, another game. There's another game that everyone kept telling me to check out, Monsters and Magic, Monsters, Mystic and something. And I was looking at it and I was like, I don't know, it just doesn't look, it just looks like like a Everquest in Unity. Though I will check it out, I promise, guys. 
Um, other than that, this is just a quick channel update. So I wanted to get through that because I thought it needed to be an update because that was my most recent highest viewed video. And I wanted to do an update, obviously, because that information needs to be updated. And now I want to do a channel update before my voice completely fuck. Yeah, before my voice completely goes. Um, in the future, I'm going to start a, a sort of a chat channel, rant channel, where I'm going to upload daily. And it's just going to be chill, me on webcam, until I afford a decent camera. And then I'm going to continue uploading more retro gaming and uh, gaming retrospective stuff on this on this main channel. So look forward to that in the in the coming days. Um, thanks for everyone that stuck around this long. It it I I know as a small YouTuber, like it, it feels like silly to say like that 670 subs, 77 now I think it is that the watch this video means a lot. But it to me it does like because I work for a lot of bigger channels doing like things like management and stuff like that. But to hear that people would actually just like me unfiltered being myself, you know, it's very different than like treating it like a a, a corporate operation. And so if you stuck around, you know. Do like and subscribe and also just like, I don't know, man, it's weird. I don't think I'm that offensive, you know, but it's just the, it's very weird the amount of threats you get on YouTube, man. Anyways, more positive things to come. I'm glad to see that some of my retrospective videos are taking off and I'm going to do more of that, more nostalgia, more positive stuff. And then you can hear my rants on another channel. I'm, I'll make an announcement of that when I finally get around to uploading the next video. I've got a few audiobooks and a few commercials I'm working on at the moment that I need to finish. But I just wanted people to know that, uh, yeah, I haven't forgotten about you guys and I will be back. And I hope this video was amusing because I did need to follow up on the Pantheon stuff and now I just need to shut up. Um, yeah, see you guys. Peace.